I'm coming from Chad. I'm a Bororo pastoralist community. Living in Chad, who is in the middle of the Sahel, you see exactly the climate impact by your eyes. The best example I give is the Lake Chad. When I was a child, the lake was about 10,000 kilometers squares. And actually now, it's about 1,200 kilometers squares. So 90% of the lake just to disappear. That creates a conflict among the communities that fighting to get access to these resources that shrinking. And that impact directly the social life of the peoples where the role of the man and woman has become much difficult. So man during the dry season, they have to leave the community to go in a big cities in order to found some job to send the money back home. And if they didn't get it, they do not come back at all. So that's called a migration. So internal migration has a lot. Of course, people talk a lot about external migration to the Europe, but those are the full ones. And who are left behind are the women and children that have to play the role of man and woman to ensure the security, the food security, and all the crops that grow up, they have to be innovators. The people in Chad, in Sahel, and my people feel that they are paying the build of something they didn't create. And this is called climate change. And this is the injustice of the world. And then they feel that, why they have to do that? With the climate change impacting my peoples, they didn't just stay there and waiting for the solutions. They become innovators and then they observe the solution coming from the nature that giving them. We use the indigenous people's traditional knowledge. Climate change is real and it's not about our future, it's about our present. Because for us it's the issue of survival, it's not the issue of economy or power, it's the issue of the life of hundreds, millions and thousands of peoples that depend on it. We need the solutions, we don't have time and it's the now time for action and immediate action for those people who are getting impacted who didn't create this climate change. Around the world, we have all the young people going out at the street, asking for justice, asking to save them features. But I'm going to tell you, the young people in my community asking for them present. 